that fans seem to care about right now goes by the name. Oh damn, of boy! Yeah. I'm going to bet on Dak Prescott to be the story of the year in the NFC this year. I think everybody, including the three guys in this booth, are very excited Zeke. to see Ezekiel Elliott. Second and one. Going right. Has daylight. And lowers the boom in the Legion of Boom secondary. Taking on the biggest, baddest safety in this league. Like Ezekiel Elliott. So here you've got a Pro Bowl veteran player and Camp Chancellor losing his pool. Oh, ball out, son. Ball out. Spins off a man. That's and Chancellor again. 17. That's Chancellor again. And once again, Ezekiel Elliott just drops his shoulder, runs over the Chancellor. I mean, that's impressive. He lit them up. He made statement after statement. I just think he might have fallen out of heaven into Jerry Jones' lap. Skill. Jerry did nothing to get. It's it's like, oh, look what we found. Prescott on his face. Jason with wide open. Dak Prescott just might be rookie of the year. And guess he what? might be. And you're going to be seven and nine. Fun. And then when it's all said and done, you're going to be seven, seven and nine. nine in this and you're going to miss the playoffs. Oh, oh Shannon, you bitch ass. You was wrong, Shannon Sharp. You wrong, yeah, boy. Yeah, when you come in, seven and nine, my ass. Give you that new thing. Right up the middle, ready for a signal touchdown. But guess what? Enough coordinators sit there and watch you long enough. They say, "Oh, I got this him." This is not Andrew Luck or Peyton Manning. Oh man, everybody at ESPN looks sound like dumbasses right now. And he's gonna score! I'm buying stock in him. This team clearly believes in him. And Elliott cuts back. Skip, you Skip. always believe in the you Cowboys. Can't tell that don't me mean shit. Is not the real deal. Touchdown! It's been an Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, they did lose that game. It took the Giants. GM three years to figure it out, and I'm already seeing it. Dak Prescott, who figured it out. quarter here with Prescott dancing away. Down the sideline he goes. Man, oh man. Their star young quarterback happens to be a rookie, an athletic stud, who clearly is poised. You got two rookies that are literally MVP candidates in this league. to the action. Look at that. That's just embarrassing. He just straight up embarrassed that fool. 14 yard hurdles. Tony Romo, you have now been blessed. Oh. Des Bryant, touchdown, Cowboys. I mean, Dak is flat out balling. He's not turning to turn the ball over. Touchdown, Butler. How about the kid, Dak Prescott? When you consider the season that the Cowboys are having, Combined Woo. with the way that he's been running the football since week Oh, that was and nasty. He's patient, Fuck he's yeah. smart, and has a next gear when he needs it that results in these huge games. Your heart is telling you they're the Cowboys. They gotta fall. They gotta fail. He's a new Cowboys, man. But your eyes. All right, all right. Let's get the fucking Bengals. Ain't that big of a deal? Legit. If you told me at the start of the year, uh, how many are they gonna lose, Michael? 11 and 2. They're not turning to Tony Romo right now. Hell no. Forget that clown. Ball out. The best record in the NFL. A year ago, the NFC East was the laughing stock of the league. What a difference a season makes. Zeke the free. That the NFC East is back and football is better. We built this city. Wear it out to the running line. We built this city on rock and roll. I think Ezekiel Elliott early in games likes to make a little statement. Because of Romo's injury problem, I think they're going to rely on this guy more than we anticipate. Oh, that was sick, dog. Oh, shit. He's a very good quarterback, but I believe he has the makings to be an all-time great quarterback. Here's a fake spike. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Shades of Damn! 
That's some shit. Well, now let's swing it back to the other side. Three timeouts left. I never actually saw this play. This drive. Let's see what happens. No NFL game I know they season. win, but let's Has see. Had seven lead changes. We're at six. Do you think Jerry's struggling with Romo possibly being benched here for a fourth round rookie? Jason Witten, the old reliable. Four penalties for 40 yards in this one. A big 15 yards here. Elliott's bigger, stronger, maybe even a step faster than Emmitt Smith. It's Elliott. Elliott for the touchdown. No flags. Cowboys lead. Nine seconds. Damn, dude. That sucks. Damn. <laughs> Oh, Jerry, shut your ass up. Now everybody's got film on the Daxter. In the aftermath of that Dallas defeat, Monday morning quarterbacks are questioning the starting Cowboys rookie quarterback, Dak Prescott. Tony Romo is now medically cleared to play in the week. So now, do the Cowboys sit the rookie for Romo? Hasn't thrown for 200 yards in any of them. That means Jerry Jones is pushing for his adopted son, Tony Romo, to be in the mix. Because obviously, he doesn't want that. We all knew the Romo era was wobbly. Eight different receivers now for Prescott. It's over. Dak Prescott's now 12-0 against everybody in the league not named the New York Giants. And one kneel down will take Dallas to 12 and... What the fuck was that? I see what he was trying to do, but... I mean, that would have been better if at the end of the regular season or something, because it's just kind of like cut off awkwardly. But, fuck it, editing wasn't that great. He could have cut out some plays that we don't care about. Like, we don't care about shit against the fucking Bengals. I mean, there's some good plays. All right, I'll see if I can edit it down, maybe do a couple minutes. Peace. Let me know what you think.